So I'm here to get Mr. TD24's 24 and get it home. So I wanted to show you how these old girls work. Um, so this is a, what they call a UD1091. It's 1091 cubic inch. Runs 1600 RPM wide open. It's got two heads on it. Uh, but only two exhaust outlets per head and it's a pre-cut motor no glow plugs starts on gas and then switches to diesel so first thing we got to do is lift up the seat and we got to turn the fuel on so on a corn binder if you don't turn the fuel off what it'll do is it'll leak through the transfer pump and into the injection pump and the injection pump oiling system is separate from the engine and you get it all deleted, deleted diluted with diesel fuel and it ain't gonna run worth a shit <clears throat> so you gotta change that oil on your injection pump regular so what you got here there's the coil and the carburetor and the distributor so I'm gonna pull out a lever and what it's gonna do is it's going to open the starting valves into a great big chamber that exposes the spark plug which are down in there and then it's gonna flip this lever and that has butterfly valves in it and it's gonna shut off uh, the air out of the intake into the big intake ports and it's going to force it to suck it through a small hole in the manifold that comes over here and into the carburetor and that's what's going to allow it to start on gas okay this is an old TD24 head so you got your oop, there he goes <laughs> your intake, your exhaust so this is your starting valve so when you pull that lever out, it opens this valve, and that goes into um, here, into a combustion chamber with the spark plug. And then when you flip it, there's butterflies that close these intakes off, and it has to get its air through these small passages, which go through the carburetor. And then the lever mechanism inside... Um, when you switch it over to start, depresses these valves open. And then these are the pre-cup holes right there. And they have a cup that goes down in and then a great big injector. Uh, pretty primitive on the fuel system, but it works. Uh, these things will start. When it's 30 below zero on gas, just pop right off. Beats a pony motor any day of the week. <laughs> So, first thing you got to do is turn on the fuel pet cock, the gas, and make sure he's got some gas in here. Ooh boy, ain't got a lot. Hope, hope this works. Should have brought some gas. So, this is the lever down here you pull out. Make sure your throttle's down. Pull out the key switch. Give it some choke. And then hit the starter button there she goes
can't get any air because those uh, butterflies are shut. it over to diesel, I'll push this in and raise the throttle. So you notice those 24s don't have uh, as nasty a rattle as a cat engine. Um, they got huge pre-cups in them. They're big. But one of the things we've discovered with a TD24 is if you set the timing to 5 degrees after top dead center, those things will have more power then you can believe they'll just sit there and spin the tracks and spin the tracks but if you set them at five degrees before top dead center they will rattle like a 1693 and have no power and so all of ours have all been timed to five degrees after top dead center and so when it's really cold you gotta let them run on gas quite a while to get it warmed up good and you saw how well that one popped off didn't miss on any cylinders just switched right over to diesel anyway when i get home i'll show you how the steering system works
brakes on. It's in gear, clutched, engaged. These have a wicked brake on them. These have a great big disc. That thing clamps on too and they hold. I hate loading in the three quarter. Let's get rocks everywhere. Hey Jeff, you broke my windshield. I'm sorry. Occupational hazard. <laughs> That's not funny. Lord, I apologize. So, this final drive over here is leaking pretty bad. And usually what happens is from the extreme oscillation of the um, track frame crawling in and out of canals it'll unscrew the nut in there and uh, loosen the adjustment up or it could just be that the uh, seal is shot and you can't get those seals anymore so somebody was asking about these tracks so these tracks have been on here since I was a little teeny kid they need a pin and bushing turn um my dad i went with him i was probably well, i'm gonna guess eight or nine years old and we got in the old mac the old b63 mac and went clear down to preston picked this up anyway it wouldn't run with a shit and they thought it was junk so dad came with some fresh oil drained all the shitty oil and diesel fuel out of the injection pump refilled it fired it up and it ran as smooth as it does now and those guys are just sitting there with their mouths hanging open anyway I don't know what he paid for it it wasn't a lot but he brought it home and the undercarriage was trash so he put new undercarriage on it and uh, what else I think he may have had to do a final drive this is a military surplus tractor and it's still got all the um, signs stapled on this side over here anyway Richard's put a, a dry type air cleaner on it which is way better than the oil bath and then that engine I am trying to remember which tractor that one came out of that may be I'm not sure if that's the engine that was in that old the original tractor or not but anyway the steering on these there's some planetaries in the back end and there's like three big discs high range low range and then the brake disc and so if you ever go to pull the pinion shaft out the pinion shaft is a great big long shaft about three and a half maybe four feet long and it's blind everywhere it goes into each one of those discs and so there's a plug up on the side I can't remember where it is somewhere up there on the side you take that plug out and you crank down I think it's the brake disc and it'll hold that disc in place while you pull your pinion shaft out. If you don't, it's go that big disc in there is going to drop, and then you're going to be taking the top off to get to it to fix it, which you don't want to do. But anyway, it's it's quite the steering system. See, with internationals steering the planetary, you got two speeds. You got high and low, and so that transmission has. Uh, four gears in it so you can basically get eight speeds and uh, then that steering in a uh, power shift model you'll get six speeds so you got a high and low in every gear if you want and cats differential steer won't do that um, you get you got three forward speeds and three reverse that's all you got you're not gonna get uh, 
you're not going to get two speeds in every gear. Now, CADS is infinitely variable on the steer, but you have to be pushing on the tiller to get it to do that. On an international, you just put one lever in low, leave the other one in high, and they'll just slowly walk around the corner. So I got to fill out my log book, my mileage log, and then we'll get out of here. So I got my little buddy in here. Mr. Griffey, hugging up the seat, ain't you? <laughs> when I come pulling in the yard, man, he come running out here like crazy. So should we get him on the TD24? Okay, so Richard's gonna take this. I've got it here in the yard at the shop. And he's gonna go up there and get in a canal probably tomorrow. Tomorrow and Sunday and clean that. So does Mr. Griffey want to get up on here and ride on a tractor? I've got a big sheet on it. Let's see if we can get you up here, buddy. Up here. Ooh, careful. Careful, careful, careful. Go left. Okay, here we go. Oh. Go. Try it on this. <laughs> so Mr. Griffey is going to ride on a TD24. Okay, come over here. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha. You, you like this. He gets all excited. Gets you all excited, don't you? Okay, let's see if we can get this old girl to go. Alright, so. Gas lever on. Get the lever out. Ready? Key on. See the horses? Where's them horses? Where's those horses? He's gonna go bark at the cows and horses, whatever the neighbors got. So, naturally aspirated, I think these are about 180 horsepower, is what they're rated at without a turbo. 
This one's like a 1949 TD24. The other one's called the 241 series. This is a straight 24. This has got a turbo on it. Uh, Dad had a couple with turbo. Got another 241 down in the junk pile. It's got a turbo charger. With a turbo, I think you get as high as 205. Some of them in the book it said 240 if you wanted to open the fuel up to them. So that's kind of the difference between the 241 series and then this is just the old straight 24 and then dad converted it over to a dry type cat air cleaner from the oil bath that's pretty much mandatory if you're going to put a turbocharger on it anyway this has got good sprockets and chains on it but it's got a final on this side that was leaking real bad and then the other thing about internationals is if you ever got them up to 220 he's automatically broken head and this one's cracked through the valve seats it wheezes a little you can hear it wheeze but it's not into the water jacket anyway they're cool tractors i mean this is a 1949 and it still runs it'll still go one of these days when i get two d9s fixed i want to come out here and mess with it see if i can get her going again um the only problem with this one is i think richard took the steering pump off of it so somehow i need to re repair or fix up a steering pump and that's the pump right there and then you see that yellow piece there with the steering levers that's the accumulator under the seat they didn't use like modern day ones with a piston and seals in it it's got a bunch of springs in it and it compresses those springs and then as you steer that pump charges it back up okay um this is under the seat on a td24 so this is your accumulator and this is the device you check the oil level with and the reservoir that holds the oil is inside the fuel tank because it gets really hot from charging this accumulator all the time so you've got to have diesel fuel to keep cool that oil so what you do is you undo this right here and, and uh, then you loosen the pet cock you pour oil in up on the tank there until it comes bubble free out that and then you're full and away you go so those are all your lines for your steering and stuff and that's a piston and that's a piston and you can take that cover off right there and you can get in there and look at the pads and then there's also an adjustment inside of there so that's how that works and then this one's got a cable control unit on the front which is nice instead of having to have one on the back you have this on the front that way it's live all the time anyway they're a cool old tractor pretty wicked sounding they really sound cool with a turbocharger on them someday i gotta get that going and let you listen to that it's all right.